Hello everybody, Zeph here with Zeph's Trading. Hope you guys are doing well today. Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird, a little under the weather this week. Um, I think I just got a little cold going on. September 25th, 2024. This will be our chart lesson for today. As you can see, we went above previous day's high, sold off, and again, just kind of another downward slope day. Um, testing this swing low, testing the swing high. Overall, there's a couple trades in here, but nothing too great. There's a lot of noise today, a lot of overlapping bars. So that's just what it was. In the pre-market session here, we have this nice move up, and I do see this kind of visual two-legged pullback. And this one's pretty tempting to take. Um, again, you are 30 minutes still before market open, so you got to be aware of that. And there's almost enough room to the swing high, so maybe if you get it with a limit order, it wouldn't be that bad. But as we make our way higher here, um, we do get a nice first entry, pulls back, you do get a second entry long, and this is what it looks like with the first break here. Um, this triple test is the only thing that seems a little weird, and since we didn't technically get above this high, this one's a little hard to read. Um, so with this one, you would have your move down, and it never ticked above higher, so you can still count this. So this is your first entry, second entry long. And then it would be resetting the count right here. So then you'd have first entry, second entry long. And you got to make that distinction between support and resistance. Sometimes um, it will double top. It will look like this. Things never get to the exact number. And so you have to use your discretion on that. So in this case, um, this first entry, second entry long right here would obviously not be one you want to take because you're literally into the swing high. Um, but if you're counting from this high, you see first entry pulls back, second entry long, pretty decent signal bar, um, and then you get trapped, sells off. So a couple ways to look at it. Make sure your count's right. Make sure you're reading the context correctly. Um, so either one is a little bit um, up for discussion on things like this. Anyways, as the market sells off here, you get a first entry, pulls back, second entry short, and this is a bad signal bar, but then you get a lower high confirmation here and great signal bar. And that's exactly what we want to see back down to at least a swing low. And that's where it goes. As the market makes its way um, a little higher here, just channeling above 21 EMA sells off and we kind of get into this downward khaki channel. And throughout this move down here, um, I don't see anything in here that looks like anything I want to take. There's a one, two, and three triple test here. There's also a first entry, second entry short. This one's pretty tempting. Um, you are at the swing, you're at the swing high here, which is right at this nice good signal bar here. But it's kind of holding above the EMA. It's pretty congested across the board, especially within the top of the trading range. You're still in a downward momentum. So maybe if you take this one, I would like to see a better triple test um, instead of this. I kind of see this as a double top. Market makes its way down, tries to break out, comes back, gets rejected off the top of this khaki uh, downward channel. You do get a first entry, pulls back, second entry short, failure, traps all the bull traders, runs higher, pulls back, and then you get a lower high. So really just wait for the lower highs. That's what you want to see. Good signal bar and plenty of room back down to the swing low. As it comes back down to the swing low here, it bounces. You do get a first entry, second entry long, and then a higher low. And I think this one's worth taking right here. Great signal bar, low risk bar here. Um, as we can see, plenty of room back up, at least to the EMA. And you might be scalping for six ticks today, four ticks today. Um, not the highest ATR, but at least right off that support, good higher low, good context, runs higher. And then in the same same note, you do get from the swing low here, first entry pulls back, second entry short. This is an inside bar. I mark this as aggressive, but you are still in a downward chan uh, trend channel. So this one is still something to consider. As the market makes its way down here, we kind of just have these repeat little uh, trading ranges, sells off, trading range, same thing with here. You can mark them however you want. Um, just make sure you're marking the swing highs and swing lows. In this, in, in this, I don't really see anything that looks, uh, yeah, I don't see anything in here that looks reasonable to take. Um, you do get a small correction sell off here. I see this as a bear flag and then another leg down, as we can see. 
So make sure you're counting your legs. And then we do get a first entry, second entry short, bad signal bar. Um, pauses, gets completely rejected off the EMA. You can see how many times it got rejected off the EMA with um, the bar closing underneath it, underneath it, underneath it, underneath it, underneath it, underneath it. So when you see this, price is mo most likely going to go to the downside. Um, and then you can just always put your stop one tick above because if you're wrong and it goes up, then it goes up. Market, again, makes its way back down to the swing low here. And you do get a one, two, three. Um, it is also a first entry, second entry long. This one is pretty darn tempting to take. I don't know if I would take it in this particular instance with it being um, a downward channel here. This thing looks pretty aggressive. I think you're calling a bottom here. Um, I'd like to see a higher low, and you unfortunately don't really get it. Um, but it does, you know, work out. So it makes its way higher here. And then this whole move up is one move. You get the pullback, which is the first entry, pullback, second entry short, right at that swing high. So I think that's a valid one to take, especially with your break new high as well. Then the market sells off here. And then for the last, you know, two hours, just kind of uh, goes back up, tests this swing high again you do get a one two and three or you could count this as a one two and three really no good signal bars here pretty darn uh congested across the board if you're um, looking for anything it's it's definitely not in here market tries to sell off just a little bit more and then finishes the day with uh basically just a small little bullish uptrend and in this, you do have a first entry, pulls back, second entry long, high or low, but then you're on the swing high. Um, you could expect at least to move back up here, and then you get a first entry, second entry long. The only problem is, like, the setups look decent. It's just right at the end of the day. So, unfortunately, you can't really take those. But something worth, you know, knowing and um, at least learning to look for it. Anyways, that's pretty much how I saw the day. Nothing really too exciting. Um, again, sorry for... My voice just a little bit under the weather so bear with me kind of feel a little weak a little tired but um just trying to get these get trying to get the chart review out for you guys at least if you have any questions always feel free to shoot them in the comment section below email me and as always hope you guys had a good trading day and i'll see you next time